This tutorial is going to uh, teach you a little bit more about um, layers uh, system and the layer system is for organizing all your objects and let's see here. So I'm going to use this scene of mine here to show you how I organized uh, this project um, and uh, so that way you can see a lot of different advantages um, to what I'm doing here. Um, especially even for when export <coughs> exporting the objects um, for the game and um, I've got it broken up so that I can export basically uh, in two models, our exterior and interior, which are these here. So um, let's go ahead and turn off um, all these layers up here and we're only going to have the XO on here and I'm just going to choose the interior and for the interior I have a choice between the GNS 530 which is a different panel inside or a 750 so um, I basically and then anything I labeled interior would go with the interior anything exterior would go with the exterior so basically um, I need to include the uh, copilot and one of these two choices the 530 or 730 and of course the interior so that would be um, how I would export um, this particular interior model uh, and if I did the exterior we'll just go ahead and turn all these off we would do the exterior on the XO and then both of these which is um, frost and collision for the game so um, yeah, so that gives you a lot of nice organization there uh, for exporting. But uh, we've got a lot of more benefits when it comes to actually working uh, through a large scene like this with thousands of parts. So um, let's let's see here. So next, I want to show you. We're going to drop down the interior, and you can see I have all these different categories here. And then even in some of these, I have subcategories here and uh, for the panel. You have more inside there. Um, usually, I only I don't go too far too deep um, through um, subcategories. So um, for this one, uh, this would be uh, these would be one category deep, and then inside here would be two. Um, I usually don't go beyond that if unless needed, but you can. Um, but let's say we want to work, uh, we know one afternoon we're going to work basically around the panel um, and you may need to be going back and forth for different areas around the panel. You need to hold the shift key down after clicking the first one and come down here, we'll cl collapse this, and then select the last one. Then turn off these, leaving this eyeball on because we're going to turn on just the panel here. Um, and we're not going to isolate because we want to be able to save that as a, a another option here in a second. So um, now from here, let's say I uh, don't need this. To get that out of my way. The yokes. And now we have a nice panel. We'll all even we'll even get rid of the tablet. So that's not too bad there. And let's say we needed to work on maybe some specific gauges right here or something like that. Um, We'll go ahead and select this region here. I might hit Alt and deselect that. And now we can right click and isolate. And now we can comfortably work here. Um, but, and then of course the point is, is you could right click and end isolate and you're just going to come back right to where you were, which is what we want because you may be working on another one of these gauges or something like that. Um, now, if there, if you get some models where there may be a very hard way to um, choose exactly what you want while you're working on it, and you may have several of them that you want to do, um, then you can um, save it as a uh, named selection and then load that at any time. So let's just do the same example here. We'll grab these, deselect this, and we'll hit the drop down here and we'll type in um, object saved one or some kind of custom name that would make you recognize uh, maybe whoops I think it's already saved nope I forgot to hit enter and I left the screen so let's do this again let's just call this this is the fuel gauge I think the fuel gauge uh, you don't need to have an underscore you need to hit the enter keyboard though um, and then that stays. 
So next time you go back, it's in the drop down. Clicking this um, manage selection sets here opens this up, and you can see you have uh, more options here. Simply, anytime I really am using this, it's for uh, adding uh, plus and minus some objects to the list. So let's go ahead and say, like, oh, I wanted to include also this post here. So um, you can. Um, click the, the category here and then hit the plus sign and that adds it to the list or anytime you could um, um, select an object after the same thing and hit subtract so that helps there so let's make an example of this now so now we select that right click isolate and there you go and then come back and then let's say we had a second set over here We'll just name that two real quick. We'll select two, isolate, and come back. So let's talk about a little bit of um, creating this, uh, setting it up, and um, maybe opening your scene and already having this there, or setting it up with the toggle. Um, so right now, by default, we have a toggle layer explorer right here. Um, you're going to see on mine, it's going to open as a separate window. I'm going to make sure I have my uh, lock uh, UI layout locked there. I don't want to be dropping anything in right now. Um, so this is the default one. It's called Layer Explorer. As you can see down here in this corner, there's a little drop down. And over here where mine says My Workspace, same list. And then, of course, My Workspace is uh, my custom one. And how I do that is, is uh, my other tutorial showing you about the UI tutorial. Uh, anything outside the viewport, uh, how you organize and lay everything out, is all done through the um, workspace. So let's go over here, manage workspaces, and um, you want to set up the scene exactly the way you want, and then save as new workspace and give it a name. And once you do that name, then it will have that extra option here, basically taking whatever you have set up over here. So basically you want to open up the layer explorer and uh, here we'll quickly unlock this and we will take, you just grab where all these little um, little dots are and um, drag that out and then you can drop that back in by going over the left edge there and as you can see we uh, there's the there's default or the layer explorer and then there's also one called default um, no, I think you can only see default if you're actually in the default workspace. So going back to uh, my workspace, uh, you have two options down here, sort by layer and uh, sort by hierarchy. Um, hierarchy would be basically, basically the, like the alphabet and also with or without um, um, children. And that would be here, display children. And that means you have some parts linked to other parts. Uh, that way, when you're doing selections, it'll make a difference. Uh, if you were to do like maybe a range, it may not select the children because you may want to link those to something else and not affect the already linked parts to those ones. So that's another great way to, um, to do something like that. You can also uh, click the letter H and you open up another select from scene uh, which is similar to how the hierarchy is basically it's um, I think that's almost the same um, this is the same as the hierarchy is the is basically the H here opening up the floating one so usually I'll use H for that and uh, use sort by uh, layer here uh, permanently and then uh, yeah so once you get this UI set um, come over here uh, click manage workspace and then update it by hitting save default state even while you're in your uh, my workspace one and that will save that particular state again and um, now let's talk about creating some layers um, the default you can never get rid of this that's always going to be there so if I have this selected and I hit the little plus sign here create new layer that's going to place it in the um, it's going to place it in the default section. If you click nothing and just click down here in the gray, that will place it outside the default. And uh, that's basically where my whole, that's like starting a whole new project, like the Cessna 414. So we could say uh, my project. Then you could select that and do another plus, And now you've got a subcategory inside this one and start dropping objects inside there. Um, this little guy here, add to active layer, um, 
so I call this the active layer gizmo um, so wherever you have this placed um, uh, you can now um, select an object click the um, click the add to active layer and it will move that object from wherever it currently is to the uh, wherever the gizmo is um, been um, selected and then that if you go to create an object sometimes you'll get this message saying that do you want to uh, enable that uh, layer and that's because this gizmo may be up here but it may be off and then you're down here in this layer and then you go to try to create a box it's going to say unhide that layer this one or uh, abort the uh, creation so you could click abort move it down here and then try creating it again or you could go ahead and enable it through that option or just do it manually here so that's what that means there so there are other options and lots to learn through here which I'm sure there'll be some more detailed uh, tutorials this is basically a what I call a simple quick tutorial to understand how to get started with this and uh, how to use it and I really hope this helps you so uh, if you can please uh, subscribe um, and uh, smash that like button and we will see you again